Today I'm going to show you how to install a switch panel in your John boat in the rear bench seat. And I'm going to put it right here. And if you saw my hatch install video, you'll know that I've got an opening right inside the bench seat. That way I can get access to all this stuff. So my opening's right here. And I'm going to put this switch panel right here. All right, I've got a little piece of cardboard and I'm going to use this as a template. So first thing I'm going to have to do is measure out how much clearance I need. So I'm going to measure across these switches that go in here. Get a measure on that. Um, you got about six and an eighth on that. And then I'm going to go this way, see what I got to work with. It's like I got about three, three and three eighths will probably get me to where I need. So I'm gonna go ahead, measure that out and make a template on here. There we go, got a template. And I kind of cleaned it up. I just went, took some scissors and went over the edge of it, trimmed it up to where it's nice and clean. So when I trace it, I'm not gonna have any rough edges. And now I'm gonna take this little template, figure out exactly where I want it at. And then I'm gonna take the Sharpie and trace around that sucker. I got my template mapped out on the bench seat. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a 3 8 inch drill bit and drill all the corners of this template so I'll have room for my jigsaw blade to get in there. And then we'll carve it out. set up with the saw. I'm going to go ahead and make this cut. Hope that light's not too bad for you guys. All right, we got our hole cut out for the switch panel. Not perfectly clean. Um, but I can just take a file and kind of file as needed. I like to cut the hole just slightly small. Um, I don't want to overcut it because then you can't put anything back in, you know. Um, so let's clean this up a little bit and see how this fits. Perfect. Well, I actually had to break out my Dremel tool and file that down because I cut the hole just a little bit too small. But like I said earlier, I'd rather have it too small than too big because you can't put it back. But check it out, it looks pretty good. It fits in there nice and snug. I'm just gonna take some screws, screw this sucker down. It comes, it comes with a rubber gasket. Um, so I may put some silicone around it just in case, but I probably don't have to. I'll put a little silicone in the screw holes. And since I did this hatch, 
I've got access to my switch, all my switches back there. I also have a fuse block, and I'll go ahead and put that fuse block back here down in this area. So probably there, or I might actually run it right next to it. I'm not sure. All right, guys, that's going to finish it up on the switch panel on the rear bench seat of a John Boat installation video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you if you're deciding to do, to do the same modification. It took about an hour, you know, to get everything set up to draw my template, um, slap the template on the John Boat seat and make all my cuts and all that. And then I did a little bit of filing. Like I said, I had to break out the Dremel tool which took a little bit of extra time, but I'd rather have it tight. Um, so appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share it, um, thumbs up and all that. And until next time.